What's going on everyone? I'm Chirag and welcome to part 20 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway tutorial. This tutorial is basically the add-on for part 10 of this tutorial series, which is this one that is pass binary data from Lambda function to API Gateway using proxy integration. So in this tutorial, what uh, we were doing uh, is that we were trying to download the file by passing the bucket name and the file name uh, using API Gateway, right? So as you can see on my screen, uh, we have the URL, uh, which is, let me uh, do full screen, which basically says slash upload API tutorial. Uh, so that's the path parameter we were passing as the bucket name followed by the query string parameter that is file and the name of the file that we want to download from the uh, S3 bucket, right? So in that case, uh, what's happening was uh, while we click on send, it gives us the pop-up saying save as response. Now here we don't know uh, what exactly is the file type or what exactly uh, that file contains, right? Is it a PDF or JPG? So how we can uh, resolve this? So let's have a look. So I have the same setup as I had in part 10. So I have this slash uh, in curly braces bucket. So that is basically the path parameter. And then uh, I have get method, almost same. I mean, everything is similar, right? So here within method request, I have this uh, query string parameter and all that, right? So let's go ahead and try to run this once again so that uh, you will get an idea uh, what we are trying to do and what we are trying to resolve. So here uh, I have the API endpoint, which is followed by the uh, basically the bucket name, which is passed as the path parameter. And that is followed by the query string that is file equal to paypal.pdf. So I want to download this file from this bucket. So now as soon as I click on send, So it says the response could not be previewed. Download the response to open it with an appropriate application. So we have to perform send and download. So here, as you can see, uh, it's showing us the name as response uh, uh, that is followed by .pdf, right? So earlier in part 10, we were using the uh, Chrome application, which is now deprecated. And right now I'm using the standalone Postman application. So maybe that's the reason uh, it's showing me the extension of the file based on the content uh, it is retrieving, right? But here again, uh, we have the name as response. So how we can uh, pass the name from backend so that uh, we can save this file with the relevant name and not with response.pdf. So even if I pass some other name of the file, then again, it's going to show me as uh, response, right? So we don't want to do that basically. One more thing, if I go ahead and copy this URL and navigate to browser and paste it over here. And if I say enter, it will load the URL uh, as an inline within browser, right? And now if I say download from here, so it says uh, upload API tutorial. So basically uh, it's uh, fetching this name from this URL followed by version one slash that is upload API tutorial, which is the bucket name, right? And we don't want to do this basically. So how we can pass the name of the file from the backend itself. So what we can do is navigate to API gateway, click on the attached backend integration that is access file S3 API in my case, that is the Lambda function. Now this Lambda function is also same uh, as it was in part 10 of this tutorial series. So now here, all we need to do is add one uh, line within headers that is content disposition, content hyphen disposition followed by double quotes attachment semicolon followed by file name and the name of the file with which we want to save that file, right? So maybe we can pass in dynamic value. 
so i can say parenthesis sorry curly braces dot format and i can say file underscore name right and let's save this lambda function now let's go to postman and try to run this again so i will say send and download so now as you can see uh, we are getting the name as paypal.pdf right which our name that we are passing uh, within the query string parameter that is paypal.pdf uh, it's showing us here so basically content disposition response header that is uh, this one uh, this one right so basically this header indicates if the content is expected to be displayed in line within the browser or it should be treated as an attachment uh, which is then probably downloaded and saved locally right so right now at this point of time the file has been uh, loaded in line within the browser right but if we don't want to do that then we have to pass in content disposition and pass in the parameter as attachment right so as you can see over here and now if i go ahead and reload this as you can see the file has been downloaded directly and it has not been loaded uh, in line right that is uh, paypal.pdf now if you want to explicitly mention that uh, the given file should be loaded in line within browser and it should not be downloaded until and unless user click on that uh, download icon then instead of attachment you have to mention in line over here correct so uh, that's how you can uh, pass on the file name that you want to download from the backend itself right so that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time